Indigent client funds reached over half a million dollars in Jefferson County in 2019. The state reimbursed more than $315,000, but this is still costly for the county, providing attorneys for those who cannot afford counsel. News 9's Alex Taylor has been digging into a proposal made to the county and how it could help. Alex. Okay, thank you. Steve Stickles, who is one of only two criminal defense attorneys for Jefferson County that can handle high level felony cases and life cases like murder, aggravated assault and rape. He's the one proposing a county to make the change. Currently, the county relies only on court appointed counsel for public defenders. Stickles believes with the implementation of a public defender's office, they could actually save money while helping more people efficiently. This system, the way it works, isn't going to stay forever. $530,555 was spent in 2019 on indigent client funds, and compared to the last two decades, the cost keeps climbing. County prosecuting attorney Jane Hanlon says a public defender's office needs to be considered. The fact is that we have fewer defense lawyers than we used to, and we have more crime than we used to. Those two ingredients are obviously not compatible. And one possibility might be a public defender's office, and I think it's something that we'll look into um, talking with county officials and see if that's the right fit for here. Commissioner Dave Maple told News 9 half a million dollars would be the cap he would agree to for funding. To me, it's, it's a, a mathematical issue. Can we fund a department that would make sense and keep those costs at half a million dollars or less? But Stickles throws up a budget number of $1 million, allowing for mentorship of young lawyers in the office. These are things we don't have available to us now. The budget he's calling for is similar to that of the prosecutor's office, which at first glance seems to look like a lot. In addition to prosecuting crime, provides assistance to trustees, to the county commissioners, uh, to the treasurer's office, and that wouldn't be true of a public defender's office. They would be limited to providing representation to people that are accused of crimes. Therefore, the scope of the office, Hanlon says, would likely be less of that of a prosecutor's office. But on the other hand, with Governor DeWine's office allocating an additional $59 million in funding for the state in 2020, that will take the reimbursement rate to 80 percent. Previously, it was around 40 percent. So that's $800,000 we're getting back. So now the net expense is $200,000. That's less than we're spending now. A public defender's office is, however, prohibited from defending cases with conflict or representing co-defendants, so the county would still need to cover that cost at an 80 percent reimbursement rate as well. The state advises that about 15 percent of cases could face that issue. That's 230 total that we've spent. That's still less than the almost 260,000 we've averaged for the last 10 years. We're still saving $30,000. And at the end of the day, we're benefiting the entire community because the lawyers that are benefiting will go, go on to work in different areas uh, and they'll be better lawyers. One thing remains certain in the future. Because we are losing um, the number of defense lawyers that we have that are qualified to do the work, we have to begin planning for what comes next. Stickle's proposal for the office is on next week commissioner's agenda. We will keep you updated on any further developments. Reporting live in Studio 9, Alex Taylor, News 9 at 6.